Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Rooks, I'm Ms. Daily Rambles. Today we're doing um, The Flash, we're doing Season 2, Episode 4, and it's called The Fury of Firestorm. So, we basically have Jack's intro, and I'll go ahead and say right here, I do not like Jack's. <laughs> At all. I, just, I don't know, it's just his accent, it's like you're not from Boston, or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, Jack's intro, where basically, um, He's on the football team, and he's trying to get through uh, the, the game and stuff, and they win the game, and they're going back to the locker room, then a, par a particle of is exploded, and ends up seeing someone, and gets hit against a uh, wall. Then we go to the present day, where Stein is doing a little bit better, and he's trying to find another way, of, they're trying to find another Firestorm counterpart, and they found two. And then we cut to where Barry gets a blood sample from both of them, and they just he just got it kind of illegally. <laughs> and so basically, they got the blood samples, and then they're testing it. And then we cut to ours and Joe's family moment. And then Patty and Barry talk about a man shark, and she's and he's like, "That's not real." It's like she's like, "Really?" In this day and age. Anything is possible. So Earth 2, um, well, stalking Cisco. Then we have Stein doesn't like Jax. And uh, uh, she said, annoying as F accent. Yeah. Uh, it turns out he tore his ACL and that took him out of college. And so he can pay for it. So he's like working at an auto shop. And then we have awkward. West family time, and the mom is very sorry, and ours wants nothing to do with her whatsoever. And then we have the snooty candidate for Firestorm. Um, so they try it out, and it doesn't work, and the guy is very furious about it. And, the, um, and then as he's leaving, he develops an after effect. And then we have Mercury Lab break in. And then um, Miss McGee, head of um, Mercury Lab, sees Wells, and so so she calls Joe, and fills him in on what happened. And Patty's there as well, and tells Patty not to say anything to Barry about it. And then we have Fran. Then we cut to where Francine is actually dying. Then Jack finally comes to Star Labs, and doesn't believe Team Flash whatsoever about like you can fly, you can shoot fireballs, you can do all this stuff. Then we have Caitlin fussing him out and goes to get the snooty guy <laughs> because um, <laughs> she thinks that he's not a good candidate just based on his um, intellect and in his intellect. There we go. But, so then we cut to Awkward Patty and Barry moment. And then we have Joe tells Barry about Francine. And then we find out Barry likes Patty. Well, duh, because y'all are awkward and crushing all over each other. And then we have a snooty guy goes cray. And it turns out he has a record. What? Fear for anger problems. And so then we uh, see that Stein is actually worse. Then Joe tells Iris about Francine. Then Jackson, Caitlin talk, and it turns out he couldn't afford college. Then the other guy shows up, and then Jax knocks him out. Then uh, Jax merges with Stein, and it works. And then the snooty guy gets away, and he goes to the high school. And then Cisco cuts the power, so that way he can't feed off, because um, basically he's stealing um, the power from the power lines and stuff, so he cuts the power, so he can no longer uh, get stronger. And then Stein um, coaches Jax, and then uh, Caitlin tells Barry to make the guy mad, because he might uh, go supernova. <laughs> And then, uh, so they're, doing, they're actually doing that, they're calling them names, like, come over here if you can catch me. You call that a throw, my grandma hits better than you. And then we have, uh, then Jack knocks him out, and then we have Iris and Francine talk, and Iris did some digging, and as Francine had a son. What? 
and then tells her to leave her alone. And then Stein and Jax leave to train with someone, which we don't know who that is, just someone out of the state. Okay. And Stein tells Cisco to tell the truth. And then we have Man Shark attacks Barry. And Patty shoots Man Shark, but it doesn't work. And then Will saves him. And that's the end of the episode. Um, I do not like Jax's character at all. I really don't. So I'm going to give this a B. I really, really do not like it at all. I do not like that character at all. I think he gets better in Season 2 of Legends of Tomorrow. I will say that because in Season 1, I just let... No. But anyway, so I feel like they got, kind of got their act together in Season 2. So I'm very excited to see what happens for Season 3. But again, super ahead myself and on a different show. So anyway, um, everything else about the show is really good. But I don't like how they're kind of... Caitlin's kind of prejudiced towards the snooty guy than towards Jax's because one went to college and one didn't. It should be on their attributes on how they are as a person and not what degree you have and what intellect you have. I feel like that could have been better because I would think she would think differently about that. So I don't know where that comes from. So that's one of the main arguments I have about that, about this episode as well. They, Stein and Caitlin don't want him because he's like, I drop out and he doesn't do anything, I mean, worthwhile and doesn't have a scientific background compared to the Snooty guy. But I feel like, um, so I just don't really get that and why they were really pushing for him because, like, it's not like, you know, like minded people. I mean, you know, anyway, I get too much into that. So let, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So let's end it here. So, um, if you like this video, and if you agree or disagree, if you agree or disagree with me, let me know in the comment section down below, and subscribe for more stuff. Because <laughs> I am rolling out a lot of shirts and doing like, I don't know, like five videos a day, six videos, and it's music in there too, so. <laughs> so anyway, um, just have an awesome day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.